Hello, and welcome to my Ultima 4 playthrough, where we are standing right outside Minoc, which is a town we have not been to in a while, and actually, I want to go in there and check a couple things out, but let's just get in town before those orcs catch up. We'll deal with them on the way out. Um, so let's let's look at a couple things while we are, are here and we're safe from bad, bad orcs. Let's, uh, I'm going to bring up my notes here, and you can see that... We've got elevation and compassion, justice, honor, spiritual, spirituality, and humility. We are ready for elevation and sacrifice. And uh, valor and honesty, we're at a four out of five. So you can kind of see how things are looking there. And then here's our mini -onk. And I, I was just kind of looking at this and realizing that, you know, this is the order in which we were given the virtues by Lord British at the beginning. And these are in the same stupid order. You know, this is the bits of the onk. So when it gets all done, it's going to look like, you know, there's the top, there's the middle of the O, there's the bottom of the old cross piece, and then the long bottom piece, whatever the heck that's called. But so, so yeah. So if we take a peek at our map, here's what we're going to do. We are up at Minoc here. We're actually going to take our ship that's over there by the moon gate. We found that last time. And uh, we are going to... Uh, go uh, and take that and we are going to go around um, head east and go around we're going to hit that and we're going to go down the Vesper go around Dagger Isle and all that or maybe we'll go in between if we can and we'll hit Vesper buy some more gems and and then we'll hit the Shrine of Sacrifice which I believe is not too far from there and try to get that and then maybe if we have time today we will go and uh, try to go back to that well uh, I actually haven't marked it on here, but it's, oh, you know, I have. It's it's where it says Bell there, uh, a little bit uh, southeast of Magencia at about uh, LM. And uh, yeah, that's the Bell. So I might try to go get that. I have some ideas on how to do that. But we're in Minoc. I want to just see if they have food here. And I want to check out their prices. And, and, uh, and I do not see a gosh darn thing. Uh, you can see the stuff that we've done. You can see the stuff that we haven't done. Um, yeah, so I think I think we're good. Um, yeah, I think we are good. So let's keep looking. Let's keep looking for uh, if there's like some place to get food here, so I can update my my database. I mean, you could probably buy food at the Wayfarers Inn. Let's find out. Oh no, that's. That, that's an inn. We don't need that. We don't need that. We do not need lodging. Um, what is this? The ironworks. This has got to be like an armory. Well, I guess buy. We don't really have anything to sell. Maces, halberds, magic axes, magic swords. Hmm. All right. So let's go and mace. Those aren't too bad. Those aren't too bad. Um, I don't know that we need to buy anything right now. But if, you know, a mace wouldn't be bad. I actually, how much? Uh, let's see. So buy. Let's say a magic sword because I think we got somebody. Oh, we don't even have the funds for that. So however much it costs, we can't afford it. All right. And let's go this way. Oh, dear. Okay, good. Whew. I thought we were on the swampy lands there. Is that it? Is that it? As far as shops? Yeah, we got that. What is this? This is like... I feel like this is a some sort of creature. Oh, and that's the forge. Yeah, we need to talk to him when we get all eight pieces of... Or all eight bits of Avatar Hood. But we don't have... Um, we aren't there yet. We aren't there yet. And I don't think there's anything of note down here in the rocky area. No. Not at all. Not at all. So we cannot buy food here, which is okay. I just wanted to be able to update, um, update my notes. So let's let's do that. Actually, places, food prices. So this is my food prices sheet here, and so Minoc, um, I'm just gonna say not available. So. I know in the future that this isn't the place where I want to come for food if we are starving. All right, let's move on and get on out of Minoc. We'll take care of our little orky friends here because they're in our way. 
Oh, we're on the Rocky Land. I do hate the Rocky Land, but there's also only four of them, including an Etten. None of which is really too scary. Um, I don't know that we're going to be able to get everybody engaged in in a, a battle here. I'm going to try. I can get as many as I can. All right, you're going to come over. I think you can just stay right where you are, Katrina. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be quite that easy. Even for an orc, that was like really easy. All right, Katrina, I think you just get to chill. You you've done your you've done your deed. You've done your best uh, here for us in taking out that first orc. All right. And I don't think Julia's going to get a chance to really do anything. And Iolo, that goes double for you. You can just hang back. Heavily wounded. Come on, Joffrey. Joffrey has a mace. Okay, so he already has a mace, so there's no reason to buy him. That wasn't like a magic mace. That was just a regular mace. So, uh, he's already got that. Barely wounded. Missed! Come on, Dupree. Oh, geez, people, you do way too much missing. Okay, that guy's done. Let's send some people up to deal with Mr. Etten here, I think. And it's probably just going to be me. Well, I'll stay put. And I guess I'll send these uh, Dupree and who was it? Joffrey up to in case he decides to flee again but I'll keep all my range people here in a line that way we can just we can just oh I wanted to move him up darn it all right barely wounded let's just move all these guys up and if he decides to flee we uh, we have that covered I honestly don't think unless we have a big problem with missing he's gonna get much of a chance to flee Case in point, 65 gold, not bad. All right, so let's get over here. I am not really interested in fighting. Oh, my desires and wants and needs are not a um, anything that anybody cares about in this game. They're like, tough, you're fighting orcs anyway. Right, since you out here, you can go up there. And I don't know, you're probably out of luck on this one, Dupree. You got to fight in the last one. Ooh, wow. Who got that? That was my experience. I should look at the stats. Maybe when we get on the ship and we're away from shore, we'll take a quick peek at everybody's stats. I haven't looked at the stats in a little while, I don't think. So I'm, I'm curious. And it doesn't look like this one orc is, he wants to deal with the main body. He's going to come down here and deal with Shamino and Julia you know foolish foolish orc they're just as deadly as any of the rest of us see now granted he's barely wounded right now but it is early yet yeah I guess I guess us range people could be getting getting over because technically we could help I don't know that we're going to get much of a chance to, but let's let's give it a go. <laughs> He's fleeing already. Uh, I like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not. There we go. So get 22 gold. Nice. All right. So here we are. We're aboard our boat. And let's just take a quick peek at the stats. So I got to get the 6200 and, uh, you know, or 6400, excuse me. So I have a ways to go on that. And uh, to get to level six, we need 1600. He's almost there. Shamino's almost there. Uh, so Joffrey's got a ways to go. And so does Julia. Uh, to get to level five, uh, Dupree needs 800. So he's spot. He, he's getting there, but he's got a bit, bit further to go. Let's see, level six. To get to level seven, Iolo needs 3200. 
All right, and then to get to level four, uh, Katrina needs like, what is that, 18? So she's really almost close. I feel like I just looked at this, maybe. All right, so we are going to continue and we're gonna go around and I, I wanna hug the coast a little bit here because maybe we'll find um, an entrance to a dungeon we haven't found. I think there's like two dungeons I'm not dealing with you, that uh, we haven't found the entrances to yet. And it's possible it could be here. We found a few of them by the coastline. That's not to say that they're all going to be by the coastline, but you never know. Because we found one last time that was by the coast in a place where you could only see it from a ship. And you could only access it from a ship. So there are such things about... But thus far, I'm not really seeing much along those lines. We got slow progress. Let's take our position. So we are at B and O. So it's probably time for us to start. O is about where the continent ends. So it's probably time for us to, and I want to keep land in sight, to start heading south. And this is probably... The Isles around Dagger Isle. And in fact, one of these ought to be... Man, there's a lot of you here. Let's just get rid of these guys, because I don't need them firing me, uh, following us all the way to, uh, to Vesper. Ah, uh, there one. So if we can get rid of these guys, that would be excellent. You know, you guys, you know, for people that aren't very resilient when we're fighting you, you seem pretty resilient when it comes to uh, cannon fire. I would expect, oh, there we go. Ettons are gone. Skellies are gone. Whoever these mage are, mages are, they look pretty hardy. I'm sure if we went in to find, fight them, they wouldn't be. All right, so... Vesper, 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 Vesper. Ooh, I don't, yeah, these guys can shoot at us. Oh, where are we? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, move. Move, ship. Up, up, up. <laughs> Holy hell. Um, he really got our ship down a lot. It was down to 28. It is down to 28. It should start healing itself. There we go. Slowly. I don't think I want to go in between here. I don't think there's a way out. So this is should be Dagger Isle, um, where uh, there's an entrance to Dug Dungeons of Seat that we already found. And we've got the Shrine of Honesty on it. And I, you know, we don't need to, don't need to find that stuff again. All right, good. We're back up to full health. So that's Dagger Isle there to the north. Coming up to the south, this should be where we found... Yeah, this is where we found the entrance to Dungeons of Seat right there. Okay. I know right where we are. So we're going to come over here, and this is the bottom, bottom most point of Dagger Isle. So we're going to come across that. And then this is the topmost point of Verity Isle that we're approaching here, which is where Moonglow is at. And we're just going to go up across that. And once we get past that, we're going to head north, and that should take us to right where Vesper is. Now, part of the reason I want to go to Vesper is, well, geez, we probably need food. <laughs> now that I look at this, we probably need food. Um, is this where Vesper is? Is this where Vesper is? I'm not sure this is where Vesper is. No. Well, yeah, it kind of is. I know this is like gold that we could be getting, but... Let's see, so that's that. I think I have to go, yeah, okay, there's Vesper. 
All right, so let's just try to clear out. I'm not so worried about. I just want to get into Vesper. What the hell is that down there? That's like a cyclone, I think. I have no clue what that's going to do to us, but I don't think it's going to be good. Just be on your way, little cyclone. I don't really want to fight these skellies, but we might have to if they aren't going to be bothered to line up nicely for us. That cyclone just keeps hanging around. Making me nervous. You're making me nervous, dude. Again, much more resilient than they seem when you're fighting them. All right, so let's exit our ship and let's enter uh, Vesper. Now, let's take a peek at the notes. I don't recall if food prices... Let's see, Vesper. Ooh, that's what that's the most expensive place to buy food. The most expensive. Because uh, it's tavern food, I believe. Those kind of prices are tavern food, I think. Uh, but we made to buy some because they're already down to 166, and these people eat like they're going, you know, like food's going out of style. So let's uh, take care of food to begin with. And we'll get something. We'll get some here. And then we might go over to um, to Britain. Britain's pretty cheap. Moonglow is actually the cheapest. Hmm. We're not far from Moonglow. Maybe we'll scoot over and get some of Moonglow. What do we have down here? What's this? Arms. I don't remember what's where. This is the. This is the. Let's see food. Let's say it costs two, each plate costs two gold pieces. So if I was to buy 50 plates, that would be 100 gold pieces. Yeah, let's do that. It's expensive. But it gets us up to 200, 200 um, food for now, which is, I, I like having that margin. I, I want to get more. Okay, so here's Guild Shop. So let's uh, take a look again at stats and let's look specifically at gems we have five gems so what gems are for is that we are supposed to peer at gems to um when we're in dungeons and we can see the layout of a level and so and i think there are one shot you know you, you peer to gem you're done with it which seems kind of silly but that's the way it goes um and I wouldn't mind a couple more keys too, but I also don't want to spend all our gold here on gems and keys because we need food. So let's let's uh, see how we do here as far as, I don't remember what the prices of these things are. Yes, I would. So if I wanted to buy some gems, five gems for 60, holy heck. Uh, yes. All right, so we bought one thing for 60. Um, and I think that's going to be fine. 10 gems should get us through one dungeon. Maybe. Um, magic keys. 60 for six. You know what? I'm not going to bother with that right now. All right. Yeah, this is... This is... Um, not the best place for food. You can buy arms. I forget what else you can get here. This is like an end, I think. What is it that you do? I don't see like an end. The sleep shop. Oh, lodging. No. Okay, that's what I thought. But I don't see beds here. So unless that's a bed right there, you're going to sleep in the lobby. It's one. It's a one bed in. Maybe. I don't know. All right, let's get out of Vesper. I don't think there's anything else down here, right? No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. All right, so I'm kind of feeling like before we deal with the Shrine of Sacrifice, I think it was. Yes, the Shrine of Sacrifice, that we uh, go ahead and maybe let's go ahead and go to Moonglow and um, get some more food there. I think that's going to be a better use of some of our gold. 
So we are at D and M. Moon Glow is at I and O. So we um, we we don't need to go a whole lot more east here. Okay, locate. We're at N. And actually, once we you know we know this this aisle here is Moon Glow. So if we just come down, there's that. I think we are, oh dear God. <laughs> There's always orcs that wanna, wanna have some fun. I mean, I could have just killed them and then we could, so I believe Moon Glow. All right, oh, single skelly. All right, whatever. We'll get a little bit of gold out of this and we can use it, we can use it. Uh, I probably should take some time off cam and just, just roam around and, and kill everything and just build up a ton of gold, but I've done a little bit of that, but boy, I don't know. I mean, really the, the best place to get gold is, is dungeons and we haven't been there in a while, but we need to, we do need to, we need to, to get there and, and, and do that soon. All right. So let's uh, keep going. Try to get some people in position. You're going to stay put. That was probably a mistake. He's fleeing. Of course he is. And he's dead. Now, I could have taken the ship around. Can we get out of these woods, please? There it is. I, I could have taken the ship around, but, you know, you can see that I would have had to gun all the way around the other side. And it's just like, eh. Whatever, we'll go through the woods. So let's enter Moonglow and let's find the food. That's the inn. Out of my way, mage. Special magical herbs. We're really doing okay on magical herbs, but if we have any gold left over, I am um, healer, we're okay. Although maybe hole up in camp, maybe when we get out of here. All right, here's the deli. Yes, you may. All right, 25 for 25, which I believe is what I had written down. Moon glow, yeah, 25 for 25. So that means if I wanted four packs, that would be 100, and that would be 100, it'd be 100 eat, you know, 100 food, 100. I've got 300 gold, so that would be 12. And that would pretty much wipe us out on gold, but it would give us four, almost 500 food. So let's go with 12. I like that. Let's stock up. We're basically at the Costco. So you'll see we're down to 70 gold. We're at 484 food. That's cool. That's good. I like that. All right. All righty then. Before we get out of here, let us remind ourselves, let's go back to the map. Um, so we are in Moonglow, but we're kind of at the top of the, we're at the top of the Verity Isle instead of at the bottom. I'm wondering about scooting down real quick to get the bell, to try to get the bell before um, we go back up to the Vesper area to try the Shrine of Sacrifice. Maybe we will. We're more than halfway there. It just seems like, it's so close. Let's do it. Let's get it done. All right. Let us get out of town. All right. We are out of town and we'll just go north here as much as we can until we get back to our ship. If anything that wants to get dead, we'll happily get it dead. Oh, it's like there's a couple things. So we'll be get, we'll be, get, oh, look at that. Look at the demon slumming. <laughs> so let's let's freak him out a little bit by using the horn just because i i feel like it ruffles their little demonic feathers and i'm all about ruffling demonic feathers i must say but we got a it's the interesting group here we got a mage and two skellies and a demon all right 
I think I just want to my with my character. I just want to go up and take that demon on. I just want to go up there and get in his face and throw a few rocks. I think that mage is fleeing. Is that mage fleeing? Did I miss something here? I think he's fleeing. That probably wasn't what I wanted to do. In fact, I'm positive. <laughs> That wasn't what I wanted to do. All right. That, you know, at least it's not a Balrog putting us all asleep because that's annoying as heck. All right. Yeah, that means just, he's out of here, man. He's like, whoops. <laughs> I was already right slim with skellies until we ran into these guys. And it's like, you know. Oh, there's another skelly over there. All right, get over there, Dupree. All right, demon killed. Good job, Iolo. I think this guy's fleeing now. Yes, he is. One thing I cannot do is get myself... There we go. 27. Not great, not bad. All right, this is kind of our standard configuration. Six orcs and one troll with this nasty diagonal attack. All right, bring you over. Attack, Katrina, very good. Uh, heavily wounded, nice. Oh, that, and my, mine's fleeing. Well, good luck with that, sir. Heavily wounded. He didn't flee very well. Oh. I was getting all cocky. He didn't flee very well. Now my guy's fleeing. Gone. Gone. You just gotta wait a minute, Dupree. I'll get out of your face. Oh, I was gonna move up and I did not. Let's move Katrina over here. Just in case. All right. Do it, Katrina. All right, I'm gonna go up. Up, 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 up. He was fleeing and now he's not. Sorry, Dupree, he kind of came down at me. I think you're SOL. And well, I guess they could help help me with the troll, maybe. You get up there, all right. Yeah, Dupree, you're you're between a hard and rock play, uh, rock rock and a hard place, hard and a rock place. However that saying goes. <laughs> all right, your big guns are are gone, there, Mister uh, Orcs. So you're kind of in trouble. And by kind of, I mean, yeah, you're in trouble. There we go. Get 80 gold. I mean, we're up to 177, so that's not bad. All right, so let's locate our position. We're at G and O. And if I go over here and check my notes and navigation, we can see that the bell of courage is at N and L. N and L. So... G and O, N and L. So we've got a ways to go. We need to go N and L. So we need to go, let's see, latitude is going down, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I keep getting myself to, yes, latitude is going down. So we need to go over and go around this and then head a little bit west. And then we need to come down south, which is basically what we need to do. Board the frigate. All right, so we need to go north a little bit. Oh, squiddies. And a sea serpent. All right, well, we will take care of you and your slimy kind in short order. Ooh, how dare you do an electric shock thing? That's, that's not very neighborly of you. All right, did we electric shock you? We did not. I am really hoping that, you know, doing doing all these battles, and we've done a lot since we last visited our good pal Hawkwind, I'm really hoping that um, 
this is going to net me good on the Valor score. That would be very nice. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're so close on that one. Honestly, I'm... I, I'm not really sure what all, other than, you know, not bilking people when we buy stuff. And really, the only person we seem to be able to bilk is the magical herb people, so... I'm thinking I probably just need to get a bunch of gold and buy a bunch of... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that this thing necessarily is tracking lies in dialogue. And it may be, but I've never tried. I've tried to not lie in dialogue anyway. But, you know. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes not always due to you know, uh, intent, but you know, I don't understand the question or whatnot, and I end up doing it. All right, that serpent's fleeing. We get the skelly, or skelly, squiddy is fleeing, I think. All right, we're down to one, just a serpent. And I think, Iolo, you're the only one, we only got one spot where somebody can get to him, and that's going to be you, Iolo, and he's gone. All right, so this as well. All right, let's sail south. Oh, more serpents. Oh, they're really, they really want to take us on. All right. I didn't realize these were serpent infested waters, but apparently, apparently they are. Well, you know, the, the important thing was we engaged there before they could um, get too, get too busy um, destroying our ship with their ranged weapons when we're not in battle mode. So the fact that we engage in a speedy format uh, or a speedy time time zone. Julia taking a practice swing. You know, that's a good thing. We only took one hit to the ship and that will heal up quick enough. It should. I forgot to... Um, I forgot to hold up in camp, so I guess when we get back up to the Vesper area, we will have to do that. Because we are taking some hits. Nobody's in Nobody's in great danger. Yeah, I don't need to be whipping out any healing spells or anything like that, but you know, it never hurts to top off the health. Yeah, you know, get you get feeling like you're in tip top condition. All right, I guess I'll move over and try to get this guy that's hiding in the corner. All right, one down. Can, Dupree, this is your big chance. And you're messing up by missing. Oh, I think that guy's fleeing. Maybe. The, the squiddy on the top. I'm pretty sure that serpent's fleeing. I haven't been looking at the text. Okay, that squid flee, fled. And that serpent is dead. Didn't really mean to rhyme, but couldn't help it at the time. <laughs> yeah, that that was definitely on purpose. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. YOLO. All right, come on. Ah, Dupree, come on, buddy. You're killing me here. Oh, my God. Apparently, Dupree needs a lot more practice. He's got, no, he's got the sword. I think his, I mean, I think he's supposed to use the sword, isn't he? I don't know. This guy's only barely wounded. So it's really down to me and Dupree. Now he's lightly wounded. Still lightly wounded. I'm kind of tempted to cast the fire. Oh, now he's critical. I was just going to say, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to cast fireball just because I want him to be done. I want to be done with him. I want to be done with him. This is just taking too darn long. Now he's fleeing. There we go. Beautiful. Good job, Dupree. Get yourself some XP. Pardon the, uh, pardon the rhyme again. I don't know what I'm doing here with all the rhymes.
All right, so we are at the bottom of Verity Isle, is it? Yeah, all right, so we are at J and N, and once again, where we need to get to is N and L. So we gotta go down, and then I think we're too far, I think we're too far west. Because we are at J. Yeah, we're too far west. I'm not quite sure how that happened. Not sure how that happened at all. All right, so let's go. So once again, N and L is what we're looking for. K. All right, we need to go over this way to get to L. L M N O. Nope, going the wrong way, Keith. Someday I'll learn my my alphabet. Maybe. M. And then we need to go to to N. Is this it right here? Oh God, Nixies. Oh my God, you guys are just annoying. And I moved him, I moved Shamino wrong. What a shock <laughs> that Nixie's fleeing already. Oh, we, oh, one already fled. Did we even touch him? <laughs> Did we even touch his his little slimy butt? I don't think so. I mean, granted, I feel like more creatures should just flee when they realize who they're messing with, you know. I mean, hell, if they give me their gold, I'd be willing not to kill them, but, you know. That's not part of the game mechanic. We're not allowed to extort money from evil creatures. But, you know, really should be able to, don't you think? Or can you be an avatar and extort money? That's a valid question. That's a valid question. It'd be a totally different game if you're building your own underworld empire. Which I think that might be a game I want to play. But I don't know that that game exists. Not within the Ultima universe, at least. All right. All right, so where are we again? We are at L and L, and we need to get to N and L. So L, M, N. So lat latitude L to latitude N means that I need to go south. So let us sail south. We got slow progress. We're still held in L. We aren't moving much. Okay, now we are. So there's M. M. So N, E, and L, N. So we actually need to come up a little bit. And then we got, got to go to L, A. So that'd be back this way. L, K. Yeah, here we are. Here we are at the well. I, I was doing all this weird stuff to try to get into the well and nothing was happening. And then it dawned on me later that maybe, cause what I need to do is I think, actually let's take a look at my note real quick. Uh, let's see, where would that be? Places, castles. I didn't, I didn't write it down in any depth. Okay. I couldn't remember if I said, you know, get the well, whatever it was made me think like I had to, descend the well but what happens if i just do get get chest okay this is i wasn't really expecting who opens but me not here okay enter all right there was something else and of course now i can't remember it that i wanted to try here I'm going to be really ticked off if I have to leave from here again, not being able to, I think I tried to send before. Yep. 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 We just tried enter that. Then we tried get dear God, Jimmy lock. I don't know. 
Yeah, there's nothing to Jimmy. Uh, mix, new order, open door, open door. There's no door to open. Ready, search. Oh, search. I bet that was what I was thinking of before. There we go. The bell of courage. Woohoo. And if I look, yeah, my, I, I believe getting the bell of courage from what I read gets you like 400 hit points or experience points. So now I'm up to 5,100. So that's a nice little, a nice little bump. All right. Beautiful. So we now have the bell of courage. So let's update our notes. I don't know why it says Castle's Bell. Actually, I know why it says Castle's Bell, but but so we've got the Bell of Courage. Boom. So now, um, so now we need to just get uh, the Candle of Love, which is in the secret place off of Lock Lake that we can never find. All right, so let's go back up to Vesper. And Vesper, so we are at, so Vesper is basically at E and M. And we are where again? N and L. So we need to go to E and M. All right. E and M. So let's go up here and let's find land, especially since I always feel like I need to check these little things out. Where, where, where is this? K and L. K and L. Oh, this is where Magency is at. That's what that is. All right, never mind. We've been to Magencia. Until I get my eighth level, there's no reason to return the Magencia. Okay, so we are at H and L. Uh, we don't really need to go too far east to get to M. Yeah, we're at M. All right, so now we just need to get up into the to the D level, really, to the D on the um, on the the latitude. Or G, F. All right, let's find Vesper itself. Maybe. I think it's right here. Yep, it is. All right, I didn't, I didn't want to fight them on the ship. I'm willing to fight them. Let's get some gold. But uh, I didn't want to fight them on the ship. Just because I, I get tired of all that construction. All right. Alrighty then. Four orcs and an Etten. Sounds like a bad joke. Four orcs and an Etten. Enter a bar. The Etten orders two drinks for itself. And the bartender says, what are you, a two-fisted drinker? And the Etten says, no, I'm a two-headed drinker. <laughs> yes, that was horrible. Welcome to my sense of humor. I couldn't resist. I could have resisted. I didn't resist. Sorry. Not sorry. This is what I do. It's what I do. I keep screwing Dupree out of any shot of laying a sword on anything for the most part he does best when we're at sea and i guess i don't know maybe he, maybe that's a specialty sea combat he can put that on his on his linkedin profile if they have such a thing here in ultima land i'm guessing they probably don't you know since this was really built before the internet <laughs> So they don't have social media. All right, get. I do. 15 gold. All right, let's uh, hold up in camp. 
get our health up a little bit. I mean, I should have waited because we're going to try to to get some um try to uh really another Etten? and a troll. All right. And this is probably okay. We're not going to get any any benefits from this. And um yeah, that's all right. Because we're going to we're going to go up and find the shrine of sacrifice. Um and um we'll need to hold up and camp between meditations. We will we will we will. But we will let that uh we'll worry about that later. Well, let's get this guy dead. All right, now you're fleeing. And now you're not. All right. Oh, oh, there we did get gold. For some reason I was thinking we don't get gold from that. 16 gold, all right. So the Shrine of Sacrifices, right? I was getting ready to look up map locations and everything. All right. This area is, uh, oops, I was thinking that was me. Uh, I should have left her there because she could have done things. She could have done things. This area is rife with trolls. And Etten. Apparently. Alright. Heavily wounded. Sorry. I got in your way, Shamino. Dupree, you get to go on the front lines. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? I'm not totally sure there's going to be anything for you to do when you get up there, but, you know. Yeah, I should have had him mark walk forward. But, you know, whatever. Some of these guys, you know, they don't want to... They don't really want to fight. They want to posture, you know. They want to look like... They want to look cool, like they're in a magazine. Look at me. I'm fighting. I'm swinging my sword. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna hear from I'm gonna hear about that from the Swordmasters Guild. I can just tell. All right, all we have left is is this one solitary Eden, who's heavily wounded and soon to die. Maybe not from Dupree, still heavily wounded. Uh, I could probably get over there in time. You're not gonna do anything. You can attack, Joffrey. Critical. I don't think Julia's going to get there. <sighs> Dupree, come on. I don't care if you had I don't care if you had one hit point to go. Is this guy fleeing already? Until your next level. I, I'm not sure you're going to get there, dude. Because all you do is, you know, like a poor marksman, you keep missing the target. Victory. I do get some gold. All right, and we've been at this for a little bit, and I'm feeling like it's time to call it an episode. So we're going to wait here, and uh, we are going to do some meditation and get our sixth slice of the Avatar Hood pie, and then there'll be just two to go. Awesome sauce. So we did some things. We got the Bell of Courage. It was a good episode, I feel. We're not close to starving. I'm always two thumbs up for not starving. So thank you for joining me for this episode. I do hope you come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.